Hey everybody, my name's Maria Marquis, and in this video, we're gonna talk about how to make your pages nice to look at and more fun to use by using our page options. So here I am, I've got this coffee shop proposal and I'm really excited about it, but it's kind of looking a little drab. So let's spruce it up a little bit. I'll go right up here to page options. And now I have a whole menu of things I can do to make this more fun to use and also more valuable in the process. First step, we need a cover photo. We gotta spruce this up. So I'll toggle that on just like so. And now if I have an image already, I could upload it or I could just go to Unsplash. I'm gonna search for coffee. There it is. Ooh, beans, I like it. Yes, very nice. Okay, so now it's already starting to look more inviting and welcoming. Next, maybe I wanna include a subtitle. Well, I'll toggle that on and I'll say, uh, let's explore the future of our shop. Yeah. Then I could toggle on the authors. It's automatically going to put me, but I could add more people just by clicking on this little drop down menu if there's someone else who's part of this proposal. I also love the last edited because it will show the last time we made changes and who made those changes so we can see how this is developing over time and the last person to touch it. The last thing we can do in these toggles is turn on an outline, which makes this a lot more easy to scan. For this one, there's not a ton of text, but what if this was paragraphs and paragraphs of information? We'd wanna to toggle on that outline so people could just very quickly jump to the part of the doc that they're most interested in to be able to engage right away and not get caught in that oh, paralysis of where should I go? The next thing we can do is decide what kind of font we like. Do we want this nice sans serif or are we looking for something a little more sophisticated with the serif font? We could also say, hey, let's make that a little bit larger so it's easier on the eyes. The last bit that we can do is decide how we want the content to fit here. Right now, this is just the narrow, but I could say, hey, let's actually widen it up or maybe go super wide, which is great if you've got really big tables inside of your Coda docs so you can see everything really clearly. You can also choose size right along the bottom. So now let's see what we've got. Notice how this proposal has taken on a completely different shape just by adding a couple of those aesthetic elements and really making it more inviting for the team who's going to participate in this process. So now it's your turn. Hop on into your Coda Docs, customize those pages, and make them look like you. I'll see you next time.